Okay, so this time I am using my CNC, the Shapeoko 3, to cut aluminum. This is 6061 aluminum. And I did this YouTube video where I made coasters using Fusion 360. And I made it so that you could 3D print the coaster or you could use a CNC machine. And I was just showing how Fusion 360 could work both ways. And so this is cutting out the coaster using the Shapeoko 3 after designing it in Fusion 360 and using the CAM software in Fusion 360 as well. Right here I'm just zeroing the X and Y axis by I and then using the bit zero to zero the Z axis. What I do is I zero that Z and then uh, I go down to 0.325 and zero it again because I know my stock is 0.325. The enclosure does a really good job of protecting against the noise and the debris. It's just kind of a low hum on the outside. And this is sped up uh, version of the cutting. Here is the actual speed that the mill is working at. Uh, it's about 14 inches per minute. I'm using an eighth inch Amana end mill, a high speed steel end mill, and it's a really inexpensive version. I broke an end mill on aluminum before just by running it too fast, and so I decided to go with a high speed steel one, and I've been really happy with the results on aluminum since then. As you can see, I 3D printed my own creation of bolt downs and I really like those as well. I just am using quarter inch bolts and uh, the wing nuts there to add pressure. I also use double sided tape and the one thing I wish I didn't do on this project was add tabs. As you can see here the tabs are still there. I had to file them down and I really didn't need it because I used the double sided tape. After milling the material I went ahead and 3D printed the exact same design on my DaVinci Pro 3D printer in a PETG and the material is very strong but you can see some imperfections. After milling the aluminum, I decided to go back and do the project again with the hardwood. What I had to first do is uh, face down the wood 2.325 just to get a similar result. I wanted to have three comparable projects, so I 3D printed one coaster. I cut one with aluminum and I cut one out of wood. Uh, I was really happy with how this project went overall. I just wanted to use Fusion 360 to create a 3D print and a milling project off of the same design and I thought it worked out nicely.